Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mr. Sovar with an actual showcase video for the Freedom Engine. And yes, it is in the beta version, but I personally think this idea is wonderful and great how it all works. It is made similar to the app Game Kit, but instead of downloading and having to buy an actual IDE or a tool to actually program all the code into, you can go to this as an actual website. Just make sure you go on with Firefox or Chrome. At the moment, I believe Internet Explorer, um, uh, Safari also doesn't handle it. So if you're a Mac user, go on to a Chrome or a Firefox, and it should all work. As long as you have a WebGL, which is like web graphics language, similar to OpenGL if you know any of the Java stuff or anything like that. But uh, this, um, as you can see, is free, easy, and powerful. Um, free to use, 10 megabytes of free storage for your projects, uh, code in the cloud, access your projects from anywhere, just log in, continue coding. Web-based IDE, a highly integrated editor for coding and media assist management. Co or I'm sorry, cross plot. Yeah, I can't talk today. I'm sorry. Uh, cross platform. Your games will work online in HTML5 or native in iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac. Game commands, a host of easy to use gaming commands, sprites, 3D, sound, music, collision, input, and many more. Easy to learn. It's the actual basic programming language similar to the tier one of the AGK, which is uh, everyone can learn easy to code scripting language. And they do have a video up here to show like a little introduction of like if you don't have any money but you want to like do apps, uh, you could do this. But let me say this first of all you can only do 4,000 lines of code, I think. Yeah, I believe 4,000. And you can only have 10 megabytes of storage. Now this is in the beta version, so if you cross, if you come across a uh, an error, you, well, they're either gonna fix it eventually, or you have to do like I uh, I don't know. Um, I would go on the GameCreators.com and try to uh say something about it on the forums if you do find like a big error and it's supposed to work, but uh. Basically, the people that are making App Game Kit are working on this also, but I really think this is great because there is one feature that this has, but App Game Kit doesn't have, which I hope sooner or later it will have. But I'll show you right now. But this is really, really great of a tool. It's very universal. It's it's just wonderful overall, wonderful, and. Uh, here I'm already logged in. Um, you can uh, compile your code here. You can stop your code, and you can deploy your code. Um, let me see here. Let's do a basic project. Let's just say hello. So I'll do this one as hello. Now I did have some problems with uh, the HTTP commands. Uh, for some reason, they're not working right. So I guess that's a bug. Hopefully they fix that eventually, but for now, let's just do a hello world at the moment. So, we can do HTML5, we can do app up development, which is not finished yet. We could do Windows, which would uh, export an executable file. We could do Android development, which would uh, export a .apk. And of course, they give you instructions on how to do that, your company name and app name. It's also iOS, which they're still working on, and Mac, which, which they're also working on. But I'm going to show you the HTML5 and how cool this is. But first of all, let's uh, play around with this little thing and let's see what happens. So here we have a Hello World being pr printed on the screen and if you looked at the app game kit tutorials look at how similar the programming language is it is practically identical that's the cool thing about it so if you have been following me on the uh, app game kit tutorials I've been doing you could just switch over to freedom engine yes they might have a few more bugs but it's still a cool thing to do and you can actually test out code that I make from the tutorial without having to buy the app game kit or 
Oh, I guess you could do the uh, trial version, but this is a great way to test out the code without having to buy it. And if you like it enough, then you could get the app game kit or further extend the capabilities on the Freedom Engine. So, since we have compiled it and showed that it worked, let's deploy it. And uh, HTML5, um, they have the link right here. You just do update deployed. And it says it's up to date. So now you just copy this, right click, copy. And then let's do finish. Let's go into here, paste. And I've never really seen this truly work before. I guess I should have tried it out. Yes, there we go. Hello world. And that is how it works. It's a really cool feature. HTML5 makes it so that anyone can access the app through the internet. Um, I'm not really for sure how uh, buying stuff or... Well, not buying stuff. I guess you could do in-app purchases but, or something like that. But I don't know how exactly you would uh, make money off of the HTML5 stuff. I guess I'm just a little inexperienced with that. Again, this is not really a tutorial. It's just kind of showing you stuff. So we could go back here. Um, let's try out the uh, Android stuff. I I want to try this out. Um, I believe you can download the actual uh, HTML5 for your own server. So uh, you could do your own advertisement, stuff like that. It's just that the Freedom Engine gives you uh, capabilities of hosting on their servers, I believe. Now, Windows, eh, I'm not too interested with that. Uh, let's try this. Let's do a deploy, and it actually downloads it right in your download area. So, let me see here. There is your dot .apk right there. Now, how amazing is that? I have to say, this is what makes Freedom Engine so unique. Is because they can just export the stuff just like that, like it's phenomenal like this is like a revolution in programming for apps and overall development of stuff now all the people need to do in freedom engine is to access all this and add a boatload more commands and they are practically set for life because seriously we just need to advertise this on youtube and stuff like that um i'm not i'm not an actual official advertiser or anything like that i'm just showing you guys this because i think this is a wonderful tool but this is the Omega of tools, and if App Game Kit did have this feature, it would get a lot more popularity, but still this Freedom Engine will be used a lot because you can actually use it for free for a certain amount of data, and I think it's a great way to have people jumpstart their app development uh, career, hobby, whatever. So let's just demonstrate... Um, Windows, even though I can't do any of this because uh, I'm on Mac, but so we can, uh, let me see here, download, it goes into a zip file, hmm, let's unzip it, uh, it's in hello, there's a .exe, the media, okay, ah, huh, that's kind of interesting, it actually exports it as like a, um, uh, an app game kit, but without the main source, so it's so you can actually distribute this without having people take your main uh source code, which is really nice. Now, was that it? Yes, I believe so. So, make sure to subscribe and like to my well, subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment on what you think about this. This is really great. Uh, again, this is uh. Don't put the, don't put this right here. Uh, just do uh, HTTP colon slash slash freedom dash engine dot com. And it is a wonderful tool. Please share this video, comment. I want as much people to see this because people need to see this if they're struggling with stuff like Java or something hard like that. They can go to this, which is free, has the capability of publishing and a a lot of devices and it is a great way to start programming and it's easy to learn.
So, thank you for watching. This is Mr. Sovar. See you later.